Welcome everybody to a little mini lecture about equivalences. Um, we say that two knots or links are equivalent if, roughly speaking, we can sort of uh, deform one of the knots to obtain the other one. So equivalence is our notion of uh, when two knots are the same, and it's very important uh, to understand it. So the relevant definitions inside the notes are 1.5, and the relevant example is 1.6. Um, before I continue, let me just point out that uh, if the video is sort of grainy or blurry, then you can adjust the quality settings for your video by clicking a little cog symbol somewhere down here in the bottom right of your YouTube window. Um, so you should try and adjust the quality, um, if you can, to 720p which is uh, the highest quality you can use. Um, and hopefully that will prevent the picture from being uh, uh, too strange. So, let's begin. What I'm going to do for you is I'm going to give you a sketch of the definition of equivalence. And at the same time, I'm going to give you an example. Now, the definition of equivalence is a bit complicated. Um, if you want to know exactly what it says, then go to the notes and have a look at definition 1.5 after we're done. So, what is the definition of equivalence? Uh, let L1 and L2 be links. And for our example, we're going to take two variants of the hop flink. Uh, so this is going to be our L1. Let's do a slightly better drawing if we can. Here's L1. And for L2, we're going to do this. There we go. Now, these two links are definitely not the same. Why are they definitely not the same? Well, just look, for example, up here at this crossing. You see that in L1 the uh, the overstrand goes from bottom right to top left whereas in L2 the overstrand goes from bottom left to top right. So these things definitely aren't the same exactly. Uh, but they are equivalent as we'll see. So let L1 and L2 be links. Uh, we say that L1 and L2 are equivalent And we write L1 equivalent to L2 if, and this is only a rough definition, if in rough terms we can take L1 and deform it, move it around, stretch it, shrink it, in three dimensions, to obtain L2. So that's the definition. If we can take L1 and move it around to obtain L2, then we say that L1 and L2 are equivalent. Now, in our example, the L1 and L2 I've given you are equivalent. And let me tell you why. L1 is equivalent to L2 because if we take L1, and do the following. If we concentrate first on the blue component, which is the right-hand component, what we're going to do is we're going to move this blue component until it looks like this blue component. And the way we're going to move it
is by rotating it. And the way we're going to rotate it is around this horizontal line here. in this direction. So let me go back and finish my sentence. L1 is equivalent to L2 because if we take L1 and rotate the blue component through almost 180 degrees we obtain L2. Uh, now I hope you can try and see that. If I take this whole blue component and give it and uh, rotate it around this horizontal axis here, I'm going to end up with this blue component there. So in a little more detail, if I, uh, if I take, that's not a good choice of color, if I take the red area here then under this rotation that's going to swing across the front and come up to the top and be across the front at the top here. And if I take the, uh, the segment that passes underneath on the blue component then as I rotate that's going to swing round behind and become the under component down here. So it's going to end up looking like this part just here. So let's erase those. Uh, so that's the definition of equivalence and this is supposed to give you an idea. Now let me emphasize that when we say links, well links include knots, right? So L1 and L2 could just be knots. Any definition that applies to links applies to knots precisely because a knot is nothing other than a link with one component. So uh, let me give you a little exercise to have a go on to see if you can uh, uh, produce an equivalence of your own. So here's an exercise. And the exercise is to show that the trefoil drawn this way is equivalent to this knot here. Which I messed up. Let's try again. There we go. Your exercise is to try and prove that these two uh, knots are equivalent and what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take some uh, probably some strand of the trefoil on the left or lift it up and move it around uh, until you obtain something that looks like the trefoil on the right. So um, I hope this was a little bit helpful. Um, feel free to leave comments uh, on the on the YouTube page uh, saying whether it was useful or not um, and that's the end of our lecture.